Why is he so happy? What do you gotta be happy about? What's this guy so happy for? What are What's up guys, Space Case here. With Halloween coming up, I decided I would go into my storage and pull out these little pumpkin woodcuts that I had last year. These were the first woodcuts I ever made and when I pulled them out this year, I said, wow, these look like so, in my opinion, my art skills have gotten so much better over the last year. Definitely capable of making something a lot better. So, we're going to be taking the pumpkins that I made that aren't sealed, we're going to paint over them, and then we're going to redo them and make them something that I would actually be proud to sell. I posted a little, like, teaser picture on my social medias and people were already like, yeah, like, bring them back! And I was like, how, how are you guys into this? Like, this looks awful. I gotta be honest with you, I'm ashamed that I was even thinking that these could sell last year. So we're gonna go in, fix them up, make them look like they're actually worth some money, and then this will be the first thing to go up for sale for my, my spooky season art releases. We got a lot of new stuff coming, a lot of new videos coming. I'm super excited. So we're gonna paint over them white, then I got this glow-in-the-dark orange paint. I've been super into glow-in-the-dark paint lately, so we're gonna be using that. These pumpkins are gonna glow, which... We're gonna do these three and do a soft release, and then if these three sell quick, we'll get some more ready for these Halloween vending events that I have coming up. These ones, who needs them? Get them out of here. Let's get this white paint out, and let's get these guys going. But real quick guys, before we get too far into the video, it would mean a lot to me if you could go check out my Instagram and give me a follow. I'm really trying to grow my audience. Thank you in advance. Let's paint these pumpkins. All right, everyone, so we got the white down. What we're gonna do next is go in and do either three or four layers of this glow orange paint. The reason I'm gonna do so many layers of this is because I really, really, really want it to glow bright at night, and the more layers you do, the brighter it'll glow. So for instance, this piece right here has like around three or four layers, and at night, this thing is haunting. All of this glows except the mouth and the eyes, so it's just this hollow black circles staring at you all night. It's terrifying, it's awesome, I love it. So we're gonna do that for the pumpkin. Glow in the dark paint for the win. We got our four layers of glow in the dark paint. Come on, why are you sticky? Why are you sticky? Next, we're gonna go through and hit all the sides with some black. For some reason, some of these don't already have black painted sides. I don't know why I thought it would be okay to try and sell something that, you know, wasn't even a fully finished product. You know, 2018 Austin, apparently he was a bit of a jack but we're gonna go through, paint the sides, and then that's gonna make it so I can go around, do the outer perimeter with a thin black line. It'll kind of give it that 3D cartoony look. Let's get into that. All right, sides are painted black. We got the little outline around so it gives it that little cartoony 3D look. Next, we're gonna go in, put a new coat of brown on the stems. Next up, we're gonna go in and take care of the stems. What we're gonna do is go over it with a new brown and then bring the stem down into the base of the pumpkin. Once we have the stems done, that's gonna give us the guide for the eyes and then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty details of this pumpkin, which I'm very excited about. That's where I want to improve from last year. Let's get this stem done and then I'll meet up with you and discuss some details that I'm thinking. Alright, so we got the stems painted. Next up, we're gonna go in and do the details. I'm thinking that the three faces I want to go with will be similar to this mouth with two eyes, not one. We'll probably go with one tongue out and one with some slime in its mouth. That's what I'm thinking right now in my head, but it might change as I go along. I'm just gonna kind of start it up and then see how things go. Maybe once I'm actually drawing, I'm not gonna want to do any of that. But it's time to actually give these pumpkins a face. Let's get into the details right now.
All right, hold on, let's pause this music. So uh, what just happened is my paint pen exploded. 500% bullshit round here. Back to the cramps. So just finished up the details. We have to work on some butts. These were the first woodcuts I ever made and I gave them little butts because I thought it would be funny, <laughs> which it is still really, really funny to me. But we got to go over one more coat of paint, clean the butts up a little. There's no good way to talk about this. <laughs> Everything I'm saying is making me laugh. <laughs> oh, having the brain of a child. All right, we're, we're painting butts next. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I got to clean the butt. I'm actually going insane. Well guys, they're done. So a year ago, this is what we were working with. First woodcut I ever did. This was my first time experimenting with the more lowbrow art style. Before that, I was making like sad Tumblr style art. This is where we were a year ago, and this is where we are today. Immediate differences. I perfected my like peanut shaped nose <laughs> that I do, which strangely enough, I did on this one. And I didn't really know where that started, but apparently it started with these pumpkins. There's a lot more shading and like the melting lines that are on this pumpkin. I had no concept of shadows or anything in this one. And you know, I'm sick of looking at that. Get, get it out of here. This is where we're at. This is the future. Now that I've gone through some of the differences, I'm gonna show you all the ones that are done. So we got this guy. He's kind of our like, our more scary little angry one. You know, he's, he looks a little sinister. He's got some stuff going on. He, he might be like putting PCP in your candy bags or something. We got this guy. He's kind of like right in the middle. A little smile, but mostly he's just, he's drooling everywhere. He doesn't really know what's going on. Honestly, somebody probably put PCP in his candy bag. And then we got this guy. He's just having a good one. This guy is probably my favorite. Look how happy he is. He's just having a good one. Eyes low, big old smile. My pumpkins are done. These are the first three I'm making for the season. I'm gonna see how the reception is this year. Uh, last year, I think I sold maybe five of them and I ended up making a bunch more because I was like, oh, they're selling. Like I need to make a ton of these. And then I had a bunch left over. And I remember at the time being really, really disappointed that they didn't sell. But now that I look at like the quality of the ones from last year compared to where my art skills are today, I'm like, yeah, maybe it was for the best that it didn't sell. We're gonna start off this season with three of them. If they sell quick, I'll consider doing more. If you're interested in any of these pumpkins, they're now available in my Etsy shop. They're gonna be $30 each. Blacklight reactant paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. The first little spooky season video. Pretty much all of September and October, it's gonna be somewhat horror themed and just a lot more Halloween themed art stuff. And I'm really excited for some of the things I have planned. So if you're new here, I hope you take the second to subscribe. Give this video a like, drop a comment on any other woodcuts you'd like to see, any suggestions for Halloween related art that you'd like to see. <coughs> Again, please check me out on Instagram. I've been putting up progress pics in my story, so you won't have to wait each week for a video to see what I'm up to. You can see daily what I'm painting, what I'm working on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Yee yee. I almost forgot. They have butts.